Hi guys, I'm your host Chloe Sanchez and welcome back to the Gold Standard. Summer usually feels like it flies by when you're on vacation, hanging out with friends, or sleeping in every day. But it's important to be protective and take positive steps towards your future. The best way to start having your productive summer is by setting goals. Goals can be big or small, it really depends on what you're looking for. Um, but if you don't know where to start, I have some examples that might give you an idea what you might want to do this summer. So first up, we have reading books. And if you're somebody who reads a lot, you could be like, oh, I want to read at least four or five books this summer. But if you're someone who reads a little bit, you can be like, oh, I would at least want to read one book this summer that of my own choice. It really just depends on your preference. We can also have creating a consistent sleeping schedule, which I know sounds boring, but has really great benefits like improving your skin. Setting limits for your screen time to focus more on your life away from your phone is also a great way to just start a good habit and it's a good goal to have to just live your own life and not be so focused on your phone all the time. And lastly, we have setting a body goal, which I know a lot of people tend to do, but people aren't consistent enough to actually like fulfill their goals. And that goes with all these goals that I mentioned and the goals that you want to set for yourself. It's great to be consistent. And this summer is a great way to really be like um, hard on yourself about that. Taking up a new hobby is also a great idea great way to start having a productive summer you can learn new skills and find what you like or dislike and some hobbies to start are nature journaling which is sketching what you see outside writing in response to nature pressing flowers and other plants and you don't really have to be a good writer or artist it's just a more about having fun and nature journaling can boost emotional intelligence inspire creativity and boost memory hiking is another great way to have a good hobby during the summer it's a good way to explore new places and taking different views. It's also super fun to do with friends. It's great for exercise and cardio and using your whole body to work out. And it's also good for you mentally. It allows individuals to clear their minds, produce mental fatigue, and it's also a mood booster. Lastly, we have stargazing. And if you don't know what stargazing is, it's basically when you go to an area with no city lights and you basically look up at the sky and you try to find different constellations and it's great to learn more about the universe and it helps with self-reflection and it's also a natural stress reliever. Moving on to more serious stuff, registering for college programs geared toward high school students is an ideal way to test the waters, gain experience, and maybe even earn some college credits. So some of these programs are the Summer Program for the Fashion Institute of Technology, Composition Week from Rider University and Journalism Program from Princeton University. The summer program at the Fashion Institute of Technology is where you learn about art, fashion, merchandising, and international marketing, photography, interior design, and film and or media. This program is really great if you're learning, if you're looking to learn more about fashion and design. Next up, Composition Week at Rider University is all about learning about music, 20th century music and analysis, their musical styles, and developing an individual creative ability and informed musicianship. So if you're into music and instruments, this is a really great program for you. Last up, we have a journalism program at Princeton University. And basically, you learn about journalism here. You learn about social events, political events, and basically writing articles, headlines, things like that. And if you're looking into becoming um, an interviewer or writing articles this is a really good program for you but if none of these really fit your preferences or what you're interested in there are many different programs to get into all you have to do is just look into it a little bit more since we're on the topic of college programs it's also useful to start planning college visits with all the free time that summer has to offer it's basically the best time to go on college trips and start thinking about what college would suit you best it's a good way of how the school runs and you can ask important questions when you're actually there and you also get to see life on campus and see how that fits your preferences to live in a dorm or a place off campus or commute from home. Lastly, a good way to have a print of summer is giving back to your community. It's a way to get to know more people and just, just do a good deed. Ways to do this are working in a summer camp, serving in a soup kitchen, assisting a local church or small business in town, and volunteering in an animal shelter, and lastly, picking up litter at parks and beaches. Having a productive summer is great for many reasons. It can have a personal goals, self-esteem, and mental and physical health. 
but it's also necessary for getting ahead in school and for your future. Don't let your summer go to waste because time is not something that you can get back. This is Chloe Sanchez signing off. Thank you for listening, and as always, keep it golden.